Well, hey, everybody, happy Tuesday. Pastor Matt here with your daily RPM. Hey, this week we're speaking about victory in your health. And I want to talk to you today about a man by the name of Jairus. This is found in Mark chapter 5. In Jairus, his daughter was sick unto death. And he went to Jesus and he said, Jesus, would you come and heal her? And Jesus said, yes, I will come. It was a 25-mile journey to get from where Jesus was to Jairus' house, 25 miles on foot. And Jairus went, and then he would come back. He would walk 50 miles round trip. And on the way back, people came. And they said, Jairus, we, they met him on the road. Your daughter is dead. Let's not trouble Jesus anymore. And I can imagine Jairus' heart just sank. But Jesus looked at him and said, only believe. And I want you to know this today. When it comes to receiving from God, we don't need to understand all the Greek. We don't need to understand all the Hebrew. We don't need to be a, a, a scholar or a pastor. We don't need to pray prayers in perfect King James English. It comes down to this very simple thing. Jesus died on a cross. And by his stripes, we are healed. And he asks us today, will you believe? He told us in Mark chapter 1, there was only one time it was asked, are you willing? And he said, I am willing. So would you today believe? Because as Jairus said, yes, I'll believe. They continued and they got there. And Jesus came into that room and he said, little girl, arise. And she came back and was alive. Can you imagine the joy? And I want you to know today, this message makes Pharisees mad. But you know what? With the world freaking out about things like the different viruses and plagues and flus, we need the people of faith to stand up and say, I believe what the Bible says. I'm not going to allow Pharisees to tell me what God can't do and won't do because everything I see in the Word of God tells me, Jesus says, not only I can, but I will. Only believe. I'll see you tomorrow. If you like this video, like and share, and follow my dad on Pastor Matt Ministries.